load up and me me will a joke Just to say that everybody up in look Y'all a say me pretty like a coloring book See them me skin pretty like a coloring book Y'all a say them a kind when me live on a rook She asks if it's hot like rice we just cook Y'all a say me pretty like a coloring book See them me skin pretty like a coloring book look, Welcome back, Vibes Cartel is our guest right now on stage and we're talking about everything and we're up to the point now where we talk about the big topic which everybody's talking about across Jamaica and the dance hall space. Bleaching. Carter. Oh, uh, go on. The question is, <laughs> yeah. why? Well, Vibes Cartel, before I really get into why, let me, I can say this about Vibes Cartel. Vibes Cartel is and has always been controversial, yes. outrageous and spontaneous. You know what I mean? And one thing that one can expect from Vibes Cartel is the unexpected. Now, Vibes Cartel is a person that is a true representer of the dancehall music, which, which is a reflection of Jamaican lifestyle. And in Jamaican culture, you have a lot of people who bleach, which is a large minority, if I might say so myself. Yeah. You know what I mean? And Vibes Cartel is a representation of every single group of people within the sphere of dancehall music. Vibes Cartel is a thug, so represent for the gangsters. Vibes Cartel is an intellect, so represent for the intelligent people. Mm -hmm. Vibes Cartel see a lot of people in the society, skin bleaching. And Vibes Cartel just decide that, hey, people doing it, and Vibes Cartel is, is for the people, is by the people, and I'm from the people. So, why not? What about the people's self-esteem? All right, good. Well, you're finding out when for with history, a lot of things change, you know, because a lot of appearance-altering practices that were once deemed controversial or even taboo yes. during a certain period, no, it's just style. A perfect example would be, for example, males wearing earrings. You know that in the 17th century, if a male were to wear an earring, you were considered to be a pirate. Mm -hmm. In the 50s, a male wearing an earring, you were a homosexual. Mm -hmm. No. I mean, wearing an earring, it's just trendy. So it's the same thing with bleaching. Bleaching 25 years ago meant something different than bleaching now. You know what I mean? Vibes Carter is just a person that feel like we just get my tattoo them brilliant and more showing and just feel like we just rub on something. It has nothing to do with anything about um, self-hate or, or a denial of, of, of the Garveyite message of, of, of blackness. It has nothing to do with that. It's all about style. And we, as black people, can dictate whatever style we want. Right, but... The, the research have shown that one of the biggest reasons why people bleach mm -hmm. and bleaching is happening all over the globe. Mm -hmm. Jamaica is just, um, it's probably way behind some other places. True, very true. Bleaching all over Africa. Very true. Asia, the US mm -hmm. and England and so mm -hmm. on. And the research have shown mm -hmm. that self-esteem is a big, big reason. Mm -hmm. Another one is social mobility. People feeling that they will be, they will get more um, social acceptance. And, and more economic um, gains, more economic opportunities, if, they, if they're, if they're light-skinned. Um, and, and, and in a sense, aren't you run the risk mm -hmm. of being seen as one working very hard to reverse mm -hmm. years of work and struggle by black people mm -hmm. to, to, to lift self-esteem? No, I wouldn't say that, you know, because if you check black people's advancement or non-advancement thereof, over centuries and the issues for our advancement or non-advancement skin bleaching isn't even in the top 10 you know what I mean black people's self-esteem or lack thereof comes from our colonial past our past as slaves mm -hmm. it comes from a lack of social understanding social awareness a lack of education it has nothing to do with skin bleaching example Vibes Cartel if, if I, you were to say Vibes Cartel is bleaching his skin to gain fame Vibes Cartel has already had fame. Yes. You know what I mean? It, to gain social mobility, Vibes Cartel is already socially mobile. Yes. You know what I mean? So as I said before, black but people, example again, you know, Winford Williams. In the, in the 18th, 17th century, you know, early 1900s, you know, if a black woman were to straighten her hair with hair cream or use the big iron comb straighten her hair, she was considered as somebody who was really oppressing herself and oppressing her, trying to suppress her blackness. Mm -hmm. No, it is just commonplace for a child, a, yeah, a man of his daughter or a woman, and she going to, to high school or primary school, them just scream out her ear to make it more manageable. Mm -hmm. So it has nothing to do with 
No, I don't think it has anything to do with um, self-esteem. It is just, as I said before, style, and we as a, a black people, as a proud race, can just dictate style for what it is. It's just merely style. And if I'm not speaking, and for everyone in the black community, I'm definitely speaking about my views on why I do it. Yes. But you have a lot of followers, wouldn't mm -hmm. you say? Wouldn't you I agree? Have, I have quite a lot. And, uh, and, and uh, uh, if, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, you, you, you were quoted in, a, in, in an article in one of the local papers mm -hmm. as saying that the people will respect and, and, and honor and even act on just mm -hmm. about everything you say, certain, certain fans. Uh, do you agree? Yeah, I agree, but you have to understand, you know, Winford Williams. Vibes Cartel is not the first to do anything, and I won't be the last. Yes. As is the case with, with skin but, bleaching. But whether you like it or not, mm -hmm. Vibe, you, you do have and you have accepted that you have mm -hmm. a lot of attention. Mm -hmm. The attention of the mm -hmm. youth. Mm -hmm. The kids in particular in mm -hmm. the inner city who mm -hmm. you say you are mirroring that their reality. Mm -hmm. Bleaching was there way before you came along. True. You glamorize it. Mm -hmm. And now, but, but, and you talked about the economics. Um, the reason why people were doing certain things back when mm -hmm. was because of lack of education, mm -hmm. lack of economic opportunities. Mm -hmm. Those realities mm -hmm. are still here today. Some of these kids are not educated enough to understand. But that would not be the fault of Vibes Cartel. That would be the fault of the system. That's what I'm trying to say. It has nothing to do with Vibes Cartel, the artist skin bleaching it has to do with the system but don't you think you have a role in that system no right? i don't listen to me you Vals don't have a role in no you don't have a social responsibility no vals cartel has no social responsibility but but mm -hmm. to deliver good quality music because i'm an entertainer yeah. note well enough, i'm not a social leader nor a political leader nor a religious leader vals cartel is an entertainer i get paid to entertain and all of this is entertainment but you are a social leader you are an, a, 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 a business leader too, because the, 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 the um, Port Moore Empire is a business. It is, it and is you are offering a leadership. One. Yes, I'm offering leadership through music. Yes. I'm offering but, leadership but, to <laughs> entrepreneurship. Yes. It has nothing to do so you with are being a, leader. a social leader. I'm telling you, it has nothing to do with being a social leader. I always tell this to people in interviews. If you, for example, Winford Williams, mm -hmm. Looking to Vibes Cartel to be a role model for your child and to grow your child, you have already lost as a parent. And that says a lot about your parenting well, skills. Isn't that part of our reality? That is, that is, that is a very unfortunate true, truth. Very, 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 very true. But that's why I'm saying it, all blame should be laid on, laid on the system. It has nothing to do with Vibes Cartel. The, the, the system is causation is not blame from us. From, from Jamaicans like myself and others, the system is not short enough. Um, it could have, them could have fooled me. We, <laughs> but <laughs> by, we, like we will agree with you that we... Vibes Cartel cannot take the weight of the world on his shoulders. Mm -hmm. And I refuse to do that. But take a little piece, Amar. No, I refuse to do that. Vibes take, Cartel take is an piece. entertainer. I get paid to entertain. All of this, watch this. Cool, I'm watch my face with the cake. So, this is entertainment. At the end of the day, when Vibes Cartel goes home, Vibes Cartel is a DJ Palmer, the father, the baby father, the citizen. Is there any danger to bleach it? Good point. Very good point, Winford Williams. If you check the history of skin bleaching from, as my grandmother would say, war, war a time, mm -hmm. till this present day, 2011, no one has ever died, reported any case of skin cancer or anything related to bleaching, as is the case with cigarette smoking, mm -hmm. car accident, prostate cancer, skin cancer which most skin cancer and yeah. all skin cancer has nothing to do with bleaching so if you were to weigh the facts of the danger of skin bleaching as opposed to cigarette smoking um then vice cartel shouldn't be understand it should be careerous group of companies i have read where it is it, it causes skin cancer have you proven no it coma. it has not been proven and uh, we can we can we can go online now and find at least 10,000 people dying every year in Jamaica from smoking cigarettes. Mm -hmm. Why isn't career as a group of company understand? No one has died from skin bleaching, so I refuse to but be put career stand for something that I use for entertainment because I am an entertainer. And I career is not understand. Fun. Don't think that they are not. They are not. <laughs> they are not understand. And so too are the rum people, the rum makers and alcohol makers. They are. They are under, uh, understand. Well, that will for me make rum too, you know. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to talk about that too. We're going to talk about the rum making uh, yeah. too bad. But mm. what do you use? You say it's cake soap. Is mm. it cake soap for real? Well, 
as I say in a lot of interviews, um, until the Colonel re uh, releases his secret ingredients for KFC, Vibes Cartel will hold my ingredients a secret. But, Vibe, that's my life. You can't know. get it out of me, <laughs> me nah, no matter what you say. <laughs> but, but no, we don't use cake soap. You don't use cake soap? No. And, and, no, we don't use cake soap. So, kids, stop using the cake soap. Okay, so you feel a, good now? Well, at least, at least, yes. And, uh, give me that little bit. I, I thank you, sir, for saying that yeah. to kids. Because as mm -hmm. far as we know, you were saying mm -hmm. it's cake soap and kids and yeah. people were using cake mm -hmm. soap to but get the cake soap. Yeah, cake soap, soap you use for your skin to keep it cool, man. But the, um, the reality of it, Winford, and I, and I um, want to make this point clear again. Yeah. Bleaching 25 years ago is different from bleaching today. Bleaching 25 years ago says, said a lot about our self-esteem or lack of it. Bleaching today is all about dictation of style. Mm -hmm. And that is just my opinion and I will stick to that opinion. It is just a dictation of style. It is pure aesthetic, you're saying. For Vibes Cartel. It's the same what they do with research about dance hall. Um, that Carolyn Coop and a lot of these people have some books. There are a dime a dozen books, if I may say so, who try to dissect dance hall and get into the brain of dance hall performers and the people who are fans of dance hall music. And that is total rubbish and so far, far um, distance from what is really happening in, in, in the culture. You know what I mean? So you might be saying here so that you're it has challenging the I'm findings sure. of the social scientists. Yes, man. Community. Yes, and and you say you're not a leader. I'm not a leader. But those who are leading. But I'm a person that I would consider you, myself you're well. You're challenging enough. their findings. Yes, because I'm reading what they're writing and I'm living the experience in the street with the real people involved. Yes. And there's no, I can't see it. it, it it's they're so far fetched. A lot of these people writing these articles and writing these books about dance hall. They're not even in dance hall. They're not even in the real communities. They're not even around the real proponents of dancehall music. We're going to give you some props for reading the dancehall well, because we know that for a man to be at the top of dancehall, the man who reads the street, the streets mm -hmm. best, mm -hmm. is going to be at, at the top of dancehall. Do you agree? Yeah, that's and that why is I'm your that is your special. <laughs> that is your special. <laughs> that, that is something we have to give you. Vibe. Yeah, you man. read. You're reading the street very well. Yeah, man. All right. Stay with us. Much, much more vibes cartel when we come back. In the meantime, let's hear how you feel about the issue. At Facebook.com slash onstage TV and Twitter.com slash onstage TV. We'll be back. The girl them no fuck, run to face. The girl them no fuck, bleach out face. Oh, oh, oh. 